for South Staffordshire told a civil servant to slit their throat. Did the Prime Minister think the victim of that bullying felt when he expressed great sadness at his resignation. I did not know about any of the specific concerns. The member for South Staffordshire spent years courting the idea he can intimidate others, blurring the lines to normalise bullying behaviour. It's precisely why the Prime Minister gave him a job. The truth is simple. He's a pathetic bully, but he would never get away with it if people like the Prime Minister didn't hand him power. But I think what the British people would like to know is that when situations like this arise, that they will be dealt with properly. Speaker, everyone in the country knows someone like the member for South Staffordshire. A sad middle manager getting off on intimidating those beneath him. But everyone in the country also knows someone like the Prime Minister. The boss who is so weak, so worried the bullies will turn on him, that he hides behind them. What message does he think it sends when, rather than take on the bullies, he lines up alongside them and thanks them for their loyalty? Mr Speaker, the problem is he can't stand up to a run-of-the-mill bully, so he has no chance of standing up to vested interests on behalf of working people. Too weak to sack the security threat sat around the Cabinet table. Mr Speaker, if he can't even stand up to a cartoon bully with a pet spider, if he's too scared to face the public in an election, what chance has he got of running the country? Mr Speaker, last night the Prime Minister suffered the self-inflicted loss of his first Cabinet Minister. A couple of weeks into the job, it turns out this Prime Minister's judgment is every bit as bad as his predecessors. I know the Prime Minister has been very busy failing to stand up to bullies. <laughs> Mr Speaker, under the Prime Minister's short premiership, he's had one Minister resign and one that urgently needs to be sacked. Can the Prime Minister clarify to the House and the rest of the country when the scheduled programme of integrity, professionalism and accountability will begin? Yeah. I have a dream.